What's good, everyone? It's me, Minestroys here. Back again on some Horizon 3 after about a week of Forza 6. And I'm finally getting to that uh, Challenger build that uh, the homie wanted to see. Now, this thing is very simple. Not really anything done to it. Sock tires. 225 is the front stock width. Ugh, sorry, guys. Just woke up a little bit ago. 255 is in the rear. Stock wheels. Thought it looked pretty nice. That's all race. This is, uh, you know, race, rally, race, race, stock, and then race weight to bring it to 3,000 pounds. Still a heavy bitch with race weight. And it's a stock engine, and all I did was put a supercharger on it. Literally, that was it. There is no, uh, no engine upgrades whatsoever. Not even a flywheel, believe it or not. So here's the tune. Just like the S13 and you know the other cars I was tuning on here. Uh, 34, 5, 26, 5 gearing. Go ahead and pause it there for a second, let you guys get a look at that. I don't have to read all that. Negative 5 in the front, 0.8 in the rear, 0.8 toe in the rear, 7 caster, roll bars 36 and 31. Springs 597, 163, slammed. Ugh. 9282-5854 4080 for the brakes and the diff is locked I'm really excited to drive this thing I don't think I've done any old school muscle and I'm really excited to now I'm wondering if this put me if this oh shit this kept me on 900 or I'm sorry not 900 300 or 270 because I did go to 300 on Forza 6 uh, after I recorded my G37 video I recorded some or not recorded but I just drove around for a little bit and I was like you know what I'm gonna try I'm gonna try 300 see how it feels and believe it or not it felt a lot better than 270 so if it is on 300 which I'm gonna look here before I do a couple runs the car wants to stop I just have a look here Okay, yeah, still on 300, so it does it does transfer over. That's good. Right, come on. I like it already. Holy shit. Yo, good call on the Challenger. This thing is mint. Oh, there I go. Talking about it and almost won. Holy shit. Definitely tell she's heavy. You can definitely tell there's a huge force feedback difference between Forza 6 and this game. Holy shit. Like there's actually feedback in this one. The other one is just like super soft the whole time. Mint. This thing is so basic. It's literally just like suspension, drivetrain, and a supercharger. That's literally all this car is. Let me turn around here. Turn around this section. Get a little bit more speed here. Did I hit a pole? I don't remember hitting anything. Okay, that was a lot of lock.
There's the GTR in the track. Come on, turn, bitch. There we go. Tap that curb real quick. No. Oh shit. I think I'm starting to see why people were running this section. You get a little like, when you're a single player, you kind of get a little limbo action going. That's, that's nice. Very nice. Try to get as much angle as possible. Okay, so I mean that's two layouts back to back that this thing is amazing at. Go ahead and try this last one. Nothing, Anna, nothing. Let's see, what was it? Alright, something like this. Yeah, I think that was the layout, and it seems pretty good here too, holy shit. Entry I definitely need to work on this thing. This is like the car I'm going to pull out in lobby, people will be like, oh god, it's going to be too fast. I mean, I don't think it'll be too fast, but I mean... You can't get on the door of a 3,000 pound muscle car that's damn near stock. You got problems. Like it just has a shit ton of torque, which is nice. Oh, did I now? I was about to go so wide there, I was letting that power just go. I'm getting too too eager with the brakes. Do not do that. Okay, well this car is definitely killing it right now. Hmm, where to go next? Where to go next? Uh, I've seen people do Byron Bay, but I just, I just can't be asked with traffic, man. Traffic just bothers the shit out of me. I think that's another reason that so many people run, you know, airport and parking lot is you don't have to worry about traffic. I mean, honestly, there's a lot of other places I would love to slide if there wasn't traffic. Rid of the fucking traffic. All right, here we go. Pant leg is making me feel awkward here. Whoa, I didn't hit the brakes. Big ass bitch! Yo, but the 
like that color in here is looking amazing. Feedback feels a little weird here. Come on, Toyota. Come on, Dark Doom. Do one more run, see how the feedback feels. I might reset the uh, wheel real quick. Feels, feels all right. I mean, kind of feels like I'm pushing like a got a uh, you know like a fence post stuck in front of me almost. Yep, this car officially kills it. Alright, let's try that uh, potato circuit as Mr. Pike called it. I'm afraid I got too much torque for it, but we'll see. Ah, I tried to do some stupid shit there. Alright, well, let's do one more lap. Tapping everything right now. We get a tap on the green. Oh, shit! a great way to earn fans. I've set your route to the nearest race. I said one more lap, but I'm over here tapping everything. I don't know if I can stop just yet. Okay, gotta stop, gotta stop, gotta stop. Let's just go this way. Let's hold it, hold it. That's it for the Challenger build. I almost said Charger. Is this Challenger, right? Yeah, I was about to say. Hold on. <clears throat> That's it for the Challenger build, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Shmay Man Destroyers. Get the hell out of here. I'll see you guys later.